want to let you know the first case of coronavirus have actually now been confirmed this afternoon. I just got the message from my partner, he's a doctor from his secretary. Spreading panic. But it's all fake news. The health department says it'll be the first to confirm any developments that will impact South Africans. Taking to their Twitter account, Lancet has also refuted the message in the voice note. So how do we distinguish what's fake from what's real? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and TikTok are already directing users searching for coronavirus on their sites to the World Health Organization. Most importantly, if there is a diagnosis of COVID-19, the health minister will be informed at the same time as the patient and will be the first to announce it. Around the world, the fight to eliminate fake news and messaging is in full swing. In the UK and US, new social media and internet controls have been introduced. So, before spreading any messaging around the virus, check the source first. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg. Clear up a bunch of things for me. First of all, someone tells me, 20 minutes if you wait, the coronavirus will die on a surface. Then someone told me, 72 hours. So in general, when the virus is dried, it can live for hours, sometimes a little bit more on surfaces. That doesn't mean it's infectious. So if you look at almost all the cases in the United States, China, and Korea, they were spread by droplets. Droplets happen when you breathe and when you cough. And so on surfaces doesn't seem to me the dominant mode of spread. That's not to say there's not a little bit of virus there, but in general, no. And this virus, you know, it's got a surrounding that is so sensitive to alcohol and soap. So you wash it with alcohol or Purell, it's clean. The virus is dead. The first coronavirus related claim we wanted to verify was something that we got from a viewer tip. The person said a local company by amp systems laid off their entire workforce in Tigard because of the coronavirus. So we called the company. They said, no, nope, that's not true. They use a large number of contract employees and they're constantly reevaluating how many people they need based on market demands. We also contacted the state agency in charge of layoff notices. They said this is not true. So we we can verify this claim is false. With websites claiming the virus can be cured by eating garlic or drinking carbon dioxide. The UK's top tabloids claimed this satellite image shows the mass burning of bodies in China from the outbreak. It's actually a NASA image based on weather patterns. Another popular conspiracy theory on Twitter claims the virus was stolen from the microbiology lab in Winnipeg or is a US bioweapon. Medical experts believe the virus actually originated at this Chinese live animal market. Chiro 新冠期间确实出现了很多的谣言我个人认为这其实是一个比较偶然和自然的现象并没有所谓的阴谋论是人造病毒所导致这次传播的我觉得新型冠状病毒是人为制造的这个说法很荒谬每当有大型的灾害出现之后就是网络上都会有就是这样
得吃大蒜可以消灭冠状病毒，其实是一种谣言。而我个人认为，其实做一个有常识的人，吃大蒜其实对冠状病毒并没有什么帮助性。我知道吃大蒜就是具有一定的杀菌作用，但是说它完全可以去消灭新型冠状病毒，我认为是完全不可能的。因为如果吃大蒜就可以消灭这个病毒的话，那这个病毒它就不会持续这么久的时间，而且到目前为止都没有官方的消息说吃大蒜就可以消灭新型冠状病毒，所以我们也不要去相信这样的说法。其实是有影响的，有很多谣言或很多假的症状，说自己是患上新冠病毒。当自己对比的时候，其实还是蛮紧张的，还是会造成一定恐慌的。呃，新冠期间的这个网络谣言对我的直接影响可能没有那么大，但是我在刷网络的时候，就是会看到这样的假的消息，而且还会有很多的人去转发，也有很高的一个浏览量。而且在我出门的时候，我的邻居大姨大妈他们就会给我说，听说最近就是有个什么什么药啊，就是会对这个病毒有一定的抑制作用，就会让我赶快去买。其实我觉得还挺无奈的，我就得去跟他们解释，所以就嗯就是这样。